I'm really delighted to talk about one of the newest and most exciting techniques that may be going to take the IVF industry by storm. Over the last 10 years, we've noticed a big change in how we think eggs are made in females. And from around 2013 to 2015, we are potentially now seeing that women who have gone through the menopause may be able to have their own children from their own eggs. Let me tell you a little bit about this. Our society has changed quite a bit and we have a number of women who are having second partners or perhaps their first partner in their 40s. And the problem with that is a significant number of those women have already found out that their ovaries aren't working. Now, for a long time, medicine has thought that women are born with all the eggs that they have. And those eggs are used up over their lifetime, and by the time they get to the menopause, there's none left. In 2004, it was discovered that stem cells for eggs are present in the ovaries. Now, this is really quite exciting. Unfortunately, in medicine, well, it's very, very conservative, and people are still very skeptical about the presence of these cells. However, over the last 10 years, there has been ongoing research regarding these cells, and it's now pretty conclusive that they are there, both in animals and also in humans. One very, very elegant study, and this was using mice, were two groups of mice, a, a, an old group of mice who had basically gone through the mousopause and a very young group of mice. Now, what these researchers did is they took some of these stem cells from the young mice, used a special gene technique called CRISPR to put one jellyfish gene into those stem cells. Now, the role of the jellyfish gene is in mammals, it makes the fur go green. They then put these slightly altered stem cells into the menopausal mice to see what happened. Well, those menopausal mice then began to have periods again. Not only did they have periods, they also then got pregnant and had pups. And the really exciting thing about those pups is that they were born with green fur. What that means is that those stem cells taken from the young mice produced eggs that made babies. In around 2015, a group of IVF practitioners in Greece started using PRP or platelet-rich plasma and used that to put into the ovaries of menopausal women. Platelet-rich plasma contains a number of growth factors, specifically growth factors that they thought might stimulate these ovarian stem cells. Now, they have reported a number of pregnancies and babies from women who were previously menopausal. This is extraordinarily exciting. However, they haven't published this data yet, so we still think it's really quite experimental. However, it's exciting enough such that in the United States, there is now a trial, multi-center trial, with centers in San Diego, Chicago, and New York who are recruiting women for this ovarian rejuvenation process. An interim report was issued in November of 2017, and that report stated that it was unequivocal that using the PRP caused resumption of menses. In other words, women were again producing eggs. This is really, really exciting. Because the trial hasn't been running long enough, and because we think that it may take anywhere between three to six months for this to have some effect, we haven't yet seen any pregnancies. But we have seen that these stem cells appear to begin to produce eggs again. Because we saw this data, we have now begun to offer this service. I've got to repeat that this is an experimental technique and I've had a number of women come and ask about the technique and have un undertaken the technique 
but they ask questions about what's going to happen, and unfortunately, we don't know yet. Hence, that we're using the word experimental. So, what do I think about this? I think the biology and the hypothesis behind this are extraordinarily interesting. We always have to look into this to see whether it works. And in reality, I think one of two outcomes is going to occur. Either it doesn't work and we aren't going to get anything out of it, or it does work and frankly, the person who discovered this is going to win a Nobel Prize. The ovarian rejuvenation technique is a follow-on from the use of PRP in a number of different areas. Athletes have been using PRP to help repair wounds, tendons, joints for many, many years. The delivery of the PRP into the ovaries is via laparoscopy, a very common fertility procedure. Now, I have to emphasise that the outcome for this technique remains experimental. We don't have that data yet. But for women who are in these circumstances, well, they have to decide whether they think it's appropriate to roll the dice. Thank you.